little bit. My channel. Good life. <laughs> Face mask time. This is the Saints Beauty Facial Sheet Mask. It helps improve skin elasticity and boosts your skin with cucumber extract for all skin types. It says moisturising facial sheet mask with cucumber extract. And it is to be on for 10 to 15 minutes. I literally can't stop going. I am still in cannot be bothered mode, people. I am really, really struggling just now with everything. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do this. Real life. Real people. Real struggles. So this is going to be a cute little fox on my face. Let's just... It's gonna be cold. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's freezing that mask. Okay. I have literally got goose pimples in my arms. Look, see the hairs all standing up. What has the weather been like? One minute it's like sunshine and the next minute it's snowing <laughs> right so oh my god this is like literally maybe freezing so who have how have you all been i literally haven't been yawning and as soon as i turn this camera on i'm yawning what you been up to still on easter holidays as i'm filming this go back to college a week on Wednesday and get to go into the college and I really don't want to. <laughs> I'm absolutely dreading it. I've just, I don't know. It's just been such a struggle to want to do anything these past few weeks. Anyone else feeling that way? <laughs> I think also because I pre-record and I've done loads of videos up till May, I know that I don't have to go and film a video. Not that anybody's making me film a video in general anyway, because it's not my job or anything. So I don't have that added thing where I need to put content out or, or that. But yes. So this feels nice on. I'm not getting up to cucumbers from it. I think this is another mask from Home Bargains and I think this is one that I got in my stocking at Christmas. Let's see. Yeah, what have you been up to? Sorry guys, I am so tired. I don't know why. I just have no get up and go, honestly. Like, <clears throat> excuse me, the way that my day is going, just to kind of give you an overview, is the sleeping is still all over the place. So it's literally, I don't even know what time it is. I don't know if I can put my screen down to see, because I've got no clock in here. I think it's the back of one anyway. So I've not long since gotten up because I never went to sleep till after 3 or 4 in the morning. I've had my breakfast and I've had a faff about on my phone taking my meds for my anxiety and my hernia the normal routine and then I've just been sat on the sofa faffing about on my phone thinking what am I going to do today? I get the guilt if I don't do anything but then I don't want to do anything at the same time. <laughs> uh, for the past week there, I have been like eating a lot more fruit and vegetables. 
I guess I'm just too hard on myself because I'm trying to do the eating better. <laughs> Excuse me. Being motivated. My skin keeps breaking out on all of these rashes. So I'm not wanting to do makeup. So basically, my day consists of me just watching other people doing makeup on YouTube or on IGTV. Colouring in and not really doing that much. Doing the odd little bit in the house, like putting a washing up, putting a washing away, changing beds. So I'm still doing stuff, but... And then I'm like, oh, I think I'll go for a walk. And then I'm like, hmm. I can't be bothered. It's like, I'm not agoraphobic, but it's almost like it's getting like that. Like, I don't want to leave the surrounds. And then, <clears throat> even the thought of going to college, I'm just like, it's for one class. Oh, excuse my stomach. And a week on Wednesday is hairdressing, and I hate it. And I hate the teacher. She's so unhelpful. And I think that's also playing in my mind too, because... I just don't want the anxiety of that, which makes me more anxious. And then, of course, I'm like, before you know it, the course will be over. I personally still feel like I didn't learn enough makeup from the course. And then I'm like, I still haven't been able to find even a part-time job yet, even though I've been job applying for the past year so it's like all this stuff all of it is too much and then again the thing that I do to torture myself even more is I go on to all these different websites and I'm watching people's haul videos and their PR and free stuff they get and it's so depressing because I can't afford to buy anything and then if I do suddenly think fuck it I'm just going to buy something then I've got the guilt because I bought it. Because, <sighs> like, I'm waiting on a foundation coming that I shouldn't have bought because I don't have the spare money to buy it. But I'm like, I damn well <clears throat> want it. And it has been constantly sold out since it went viral. So now that I noticed that it, they had some shades in, and I don't even know if I got the right shade, I'm like, I'm getting it. <laughs> the inner struggles that we have. This mask feels really nice, actually. But yeah. And the reason that I haven't been doing makeup either is because the eczema has just been so bad. The last makeup that I had on. You won't have seen the video yet when you see this one because I'm still putting face masks up for April. But it um, was when I did the, excuse me, the Wet n Wild palette. And it was nothing to do with that palette. But my skin has just been flaring up all over the place with rashes, like in the folds of my arms, under my breasts, in the folds on my back there, back of my legs, just this little in my patches. I don't know about anybody else, but see if you're feeling stressed or anything like that, it totally takes over, like even my body. So I try to keep the stress levels of my anxiety down because it ain't fun. And it's also hard to believe that this time last week I was on the Zoom call with one of my favourite YouTubers, it's Sabrina. Like, that was a week ago. That's the other thing. The days, the weeks, the months are flying in, people. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely flawless. What? Let's get this off. Rub it in. Mm. 
a nice little moss. I would say, I mean, it's okay. It's given moisture to my face. I think I would personally say that that kind of mask I would maybe get if I was going to have like a little pamper with like say a teenager or something or just for a bit of fun. But I personally wouldn't run out and buy it. My skin does feel hydrated and plump. It hasn't irritated my skin in any way. As you saw, it adhered to my face fine. It wasn't dripping in products, excess product. So yes, I'm assuming it's from Home Bargains, but I do not know because I don't buy that one myself. So yeah, what do you guys think? Anyway guys, thanks so much for supporting the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Hopefully a bit more motivated. Bye.